guys, this is Jess with this tiny schoolhouse and today I am going to be talking about how I plan and organize a the good and the beautiful science unit. The unit that I chose to plan this time is the space science unit. Um, I print my own copies. It's $15 for a PDF to print at home um, and then I use HP Instant Ink so I can print a lot but I will say that this particular unit, this particular science unit, used a lot of ink so um, don't start it, start printing it unless you are low or unless you have a lot of ink. If you're low you might want to wait or only print out a couple pages because it does take up a lot of ink to do this one. I also want to say that I chose this particular unit study because we are in quarantine um, as most everyone else is and there are a lot of really really awesome unit studies for science from the good and the beautiful but a lot of them are very open-ended which means that we could get a lot of cool stuff from the library we could go to a lot of field trips and stuff but we can't really do that right now so I don't want to pick one of those really intense um, unit studies so science seemed like it would be really good for that because we can really do a lot of science exploration in our own backyard and we don't really have any planetariums or anything like that really close nearby I think there is one that's like an hour away so all I did to get this ready was um, it's it's print and go so uh, I printed it out and I put it in a half inch binder um, a lot of people will spiral bound theirs spiral bind theirs or um, though you can buy it pre-made from the good and the beautiful, but I don't like doing that. Um, I just print out my own and so I just three ring hole punch all the pages that need to be done and then I pull out the vocabulary cards and any like manipulative that comes with it, cut it out. Most of the time I laminate it, but since we don't really have access to Amazon right now. I didn't laminate anything besides stuff I know will be used a bunch of times by Emma. Um, I didn't laminate the vocabulary cards because I don't know when I'm going to be able to order more laminating paper from Amazon. So I didn't laminate as much as I normally do. Um, but I took these out and pre-cut them out so that they're ready to go for our lessons. I also did something new this time where I bound the mini books that come with the unit. Um, I've had a couple of the good and the beautiful units, units for science and I've never done this before because I've never had a way to bind it but then I thought about using the little rings that came on an old um, happy 365 planner and I happened to have the hole punch so I went ahead and hole punched all of these I also went ahead and laminated the covers of each book that way it's a little more sturdy but then she can just read these and go through them as they're needed um, these are packed full of information along with the unit study, so it's definitely important to make sure you print these out. I also went ahead and grabbed some things from the store. Uh, everything that is in this unit, there's not a lot of extra stuff. Most of it I already had in our pantry or in our kitchen, so I only had to pick up a couple extra things, and I was able to pick it up on my actual regular grocery shopping trip. Like I said, we're in quarantine for all the craziness that's going along in the world. It's important to have um, easy access to the materials. We're big on unit studies, but in all the unit studies that I do, I have access to Amazon where I can just, oh, I need something for this in a couple of days, add it to my Amazon cart and it's here at my doorstep the next day or two. That's not possible anymore until this is all over. So it's really important to have a unit that has stuff that's easily accessible. So the only thing I actually had to pick up from the store was a box of red velvet cake mix and extra beans. Um, I have beans laying around already, but we plan on eating those. So uh, that's, I also had to grab styrofoam cups but they didn't fit in the box. So I didn't bring them in here because you know what a styrofoam cup looks like. Everything else is like food dye, shaving cream, that kind of thing. It's very readily accessible at the grocery store. You can get it through ClickList or Walmart pickup or Target pickup or whatever kind of pickup so you don't even have to go into the store. So I did all of this with minimal human contact which is great for right now and I think that we'll really be able to get through this unit and have a lot of fun with it and just bring a little bit of normalcy back to our home school. Um, we are used to being able to go to our co-op and Girl Scouts and field trips and hanging out with friends. So this is very, very different for us and very new. So hopefully this unit study will keep our interest for a while. Um, hopefully I'm able to get some kind of 
extra materials to go along with it and I'm going to be looking at Walmart and Target to see what they have for the science or for space and science and that kind of thing so that I could get it through the pickup but I don't know we'll see so I spent a lot of time um, getting this ready and printing it out um, I bought I was up at like 6 30 this morning getting it printed and then getting everything ready the most time-consuming thing was the mini books binding or hole punching this because you have to do it three pages at a time with my happy planner hole punch but everything else or if you had just had the spiral bound like office max or something like that it didn't take very long at all okay that is how i plan for the good and the beautiful science units um, if you guys would like to see us walk through a lesson maybe or anything like that let me know or if you guys would like to see more curriculum reviews let me know and that's it bye guys thanks for watching bye.